Hello everyone, Creative Inus here and look at this beautiful and colorful text animation. So I have designed five different styles of text animation here and you can easily learn it in PowerPoint. It's really easy and you don't need any other software for this. PowerPoint has the capabilities to do this. But before moving further, let's watch this. This is a beautiful PDF document. What if you want to use annotations and send it to your client? The all-in-one PDF element, the best-in-class PDF editor can do it for you. You can use annotation features like highlight text, underline paragraph or statement, strike text, add sticky notes, and you can also use stamps very easily. For more information about PDF element and its annotation features, refer to the links in the video description. Before starting the tutorial, let's understand each style. So this is the first style, this is second, and this is third, which is more kind of slow. This is fourth, and take a look at the fifth. It is really slow. So these are the five different styles. So let's start the tutorial. The very first step is design the background, and again. We will fill gradient color. So we are using two stops gradient and we will use dark blue gradient here. And both these blues should be on the darker side. And let's change the angle so you can. Try different options here on the right panel and design the gradient of your own choice. Now let's write the word creative. So you can write any word you want, any text style that you want to create. So I have used a Google font. So try different fonts as well. There are some designer fonts, some corporate fonts, then there are some handwriting fonts, some are creepy. So you can try as per the topic of your presentation or banner or you want to create a video out of it. You can do this by designing this kind of style and export it as a video for your main video. You can use it as a small video byte. So now we have changed the angle of this text by going to the text effects option and here from the presets we have changed its rotation. Also we need to increase its depth. Now let's change its color so that it is visible. So till now we have completed three steps. First is we have written the text second is change its rotation then third is its depth now the fourth is we have applied gradient color on the text make sure the gradient is kind of uh, vibrant it should have that vibrant look and feel because the background is dark I think the text size is small, so let's increase it a bit and place it at the center. Now what we will do is we will create create multiple layers of it. So here you can play with the lighting and the material. So these are basically based upon your uh, creative thinking and the kind of output you need. I've slightly increased the transparency as well so that the layers that we will create behind this text will be slightly visible. So I'm still playing with the material and the lighting here. So once you're satisfied, you can move further. Now duplicate this and send to back. So this is our next layer. 
and place it like this now apply some different colors some different transparency level apply different lighting and material and and it is very important that you should follow a color scheme it shouldn't look like that that it is not matching with the overall flow of the design it should match the color scheme and the light effect now we have created one more layer and we will change its color so you can use a combination of the solids and the gradients with with the essence of that vibrant look and you can also add some transparency you can change the material so here you can see I'm using only the blue color here the different variation of the blue I want to add purple as well so I'm thinking how can I do that so I have added one more layer let's select all of these I have grouped them increased the size Now I have placed it at the center. Now let's ungroup all these items and let's create one more layer. So it's a kind of shadow layer. Send it to back, align it properly. It should be at some distance with the main text. Fill solid color. Remove the shadow effect, increase transparency. So I'm playing with the transparency level here, and now it's done. And take a look, it's looking really beautiful, but it will lo look much more beautiful when we will add few animations to it. I'm checking if all the layers are in order from the selection panel here. Yes, everything is looking nice, everything is looking perfect. So I want to add the purple color because purple matches with the blue and now it's looking better to me. Now we want to add few animations to it. For that we need the selection pane here. And for the top layer we want to increase the transparency a bit. Because we want to create light effects. So we have increased the transparency on the top level layer and now let's add animation on the second layer we want to add animation on the second layer the second layer is our light layer where we have fixed all those led lights glow lights so we have used this animation let's pick a nice color here and then choose this gradient auto reverse by letter you can put any number you want here repeat until the end of the slide press ok and reduce the duration to like 
you can you can play with the duration here you can add like 0.1 seconds or 0.10 that's how you can do it so take a look at the light how the light is traveling from c to e then it comes back to c then again it moves so this is the kind of loop we have created and you can play with it and you can create multiple styles of light effects on the text and our top layer is transparent so it looks like it's a glass layer then on the second layer we have added light effects so this creates a really beautiful effect and on the last layer we have added a glow glow effect and you can slightly increase its transparency and adjust the size the last layer is the layer that we have called the shadow layer and look at this beautiful animation so you can play with the duration and the color and you can see different styles of light effects now we will duplicate the slide here and we will edit the animation go to the animation pane and select the animation and change and edit the animation and change this option all at once now you can play it and we can and we can adjust the duration a bit you can play with the duration here and now you can see the effect it's looking beautiful the first style is kind of like waves are traveling this one is a kind of solid where complete text is glowing at the same time now again duplicate it let's create the third effect here and this is kind of smooth and slow Now create one more style with that wave style that we have created in the first slide so that's why we have duplicated the first slide and placed it at the fourth number now increase the duration and look at this how the light is traveling from c to e and then back to c so this is looking really beautiful you can also adjust the option of smooth start and smooth stop when you go to the edit settings so here are the options you can play with the smooth start and smooth stop and the colors as well so here we have created one more style here this is more fluid so we have reached towards the end of this video i hope you like this kind of style and text animation so here are the five styles you can enjoy and you can learn by watching this video from beginning to end. So thanks for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our channel, join the membership. You can hit that join button and you can support us. Also, you can share this video with your friends and colleagues, family, anyone. And you can let us know your thoughts in the comment section. So you can also download this template from the G Drive link provided in the video description so i would recommend first you learn and then you download so it will be better and my objective will be achieved that i want to help people to learn powerpoint in a more beautiful way so thank you everyone thanks for being with us and we will see you guys in our next video thanks for watching bye bye peace